and Jamus, ladies and gentlemen, as the spectators arrive. Beautiful sights and sounds from the world of Dambi. I am Antonio Kiliki and uh, welcome to the greatest martial art boxing in the world, Dambi. As the musicians beat those drums, heralding the arrival of the, the fighters, it is important to note that Dambi still remains the greatest martial art boxing in the world. And straight up, striking overhand there from Shagun Guruma down the black jeans. Launch the start of the game. He's going up against Shagun Kudu, fight on the orange shorts. These are uh, our young gods of Dambi. Striking up a cut and overhand there from Kudu fighter. Rolled by another one, both fighters now entangling the barrage of blows of a cut and overhand. Non stop fighting aggressively. Wow. These boys have improved really well. Fighting real like real life combatants here. Uh, interesting. Overhand striking there from Kudu fighter. Push back. Trying to whoa! Good shot there from Shalom Gurumada. Gurumada is fighting on the black jeans and um, striking overhand again to two shots in quick successive thrust and but it's no impact yet. We the fit was just watching, waiting for one person to drop. Yes. Zoom the position, grappling onto each other, and pull the opponent in. Step back just in time, good man, the fighter. Shall I pull the timing here? The opponent synchronizing his every move. Striking overhand with a miss shot, flank thrust there. Let's go. Striking overhand again. Ooh, the uppercut should have come from the Kudu fighter. I don't know why he hesitated. But, um, take a break. Yeah, they do get uh, advice from their coaches and their comrades on how to break deadlock. Yeah, he touched the sand, touched his fist for the eyes of the understanding. That is a ritual from fighters who have uh, amulets and uh, portions from their holy, you know, holy men to win a game. Whether it works or not, it's left for young conviction. As other fighters trust their stuff around the arena, announcing their presence, looking for worthy challengers. It is. Uh, arena filled with many activities, you just have to be, you know, eagle eye to know what is happening at every point in time. Kudu fighter against the Kudu Mada fighter on the black jeans, and no one is relenting for the opponent, not yet. I have to still watch to see what would happen. A long period of inactivity and the referee would stop this game making room for other fighters to have a go at it. There's no time to be entirely okay with short step from both fighters. I mean we must give it to them, both fighters actually doing a good job in engaging. Striking over hands but both bounce off each other. The musicians floating around the arena as well. Nearly enough of those lovely sounds. I'm going to cut another hand there from the Kudu fighter. But his opponent still stands. He turns the favor and boots. Looking tired already. I mean, he takes a break. He walks away from the scene. Ajani Kudu. It's allowed. The fighter to step out. If he's tired, it's better than being dead. Okay, he returns. He went for a water break and let's go. Seconds on his opponent and your blinds and your focus on overhand quick successive trust, another trust. Followed by the third one and the fourth one. Good engagement from both fighters. Clean barrage of blows there and uh, no one is relenting for the other. Interesting. Okay, it's slowing down now. 
some point she's has slowed down. You could tell they are tired out, but no one is relenting. No one wants to give up. No one wants to give in. These are what men are made of. Boys are forged into men in this arena. It is how it is done. This is how they grow. Let's go. They're in at each other. Let's go. At this point, the overhands are missing their shots. No impact. What's going to happen next? The blue mother fighter still has so many left in him. Striking, striking. No one is making any impact. Let's go. Again, we put on hold and it will be declared the stalemate. Yes, the comet steps in. Switch Sota on them. To signal the end of their own round. Keep it moving. Still the view from the house of Jamus. Warriors getting ready to battle there. This time it will be the drama as we see. Such a beautiful skill. Watch the way they play on that drum. Just uh, romancing those uh, hide skins, making sounds out of them with their lovely voices. The perfect scenario. Can be. This time it will be a fighter from Jamus again, Aljani Nairawa and the Green Boxers, they're going up against Aljani Kudu, who strikes an uppercut there to break free, strikes an overhand and he strikes him to the ground, <laughs> he staggers, he staggers, he staggers, yeah, Aljani Kudu was the winner of that game, struts away, gets celebrated by Aljani Kudu in the distance, while Aljani Nairawa is struggling to stay alive, his comrades are doing everything in their playbook to resuscitate him, as you can see, Tiger, he's getting his feet stomped on. Anything to bring him back to life. And the sky is falling on him. <laughs> it just, oh boy, this is quite to see. Has water spritz on him, has his feet stepped on, his feet stepped on. And uh, they are wrapping his uh, spear to let the flow of blood through. Uh, it happens. To the best of them, he will leave to fight another day. This is part of his training. You see the drummer is beating beside him. In the past, it was a form of mockery for the loser, and uh, it's quite an interesting scene we had there. What a beautiful way to end this one fight. Stay tuned for more fights coming away. I'm the feast of Gambia BBC. Thank you.